Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. This is a medical video lecture. Orthopedics. And today I'm gonna discuss about pulled elbow. Okay guys, so you know very well the pulled elbow, right? So important points I'm gonna discuss over here. Remember it's seen in children. It's seen in children of age group two to five years. Okay. The child starts crying and is unable to move the affected limb when she or he has been lifted by the wrist. Lift by wrist. Okay. So what happens when you lift the child by the wrist? The head of the radius is pulled partly out of the annular ligament. the head of radius is partly pulled is pulled partly out of annular ligament out of annular ligament while the child is lifted by the wrist so when you start lifting the child of two to five years of age group okay the head of the radius is pulled partly out of the annular ligament and because of this the child keeps his forearm or her forearm in pronation position okay guys so you got an idea so usually in examination they will give you that the child of two years is crying excessively and he has kept his forearm in what you call a pronation position and mother says she has never noticed any kind of injury any kind of trauma and what's um, and when you take an x-ray you take an x-ray everything was normal okay so what's the diagnosis so look at the age of the patient look at the position of the what you call the hand there's a forearm okay so from this you can get an idea that there might be a pulled elbow okay so what happens on examination of the elbow there, there can be a mild swelling at the elbow remember there can be a mild swelling okay and it's not possible to see the subluxated head on x-ray because it's a still cartilaginous at this age still cartilaginous so that's why you're not able to see on x-ray and you have to take an x-ray to rule out any other fractures okay you have to take an x-ray you won't see anything in x-ray but you have to take an x-ray why x-ray because if there is any fracture associated with that so now start about the treatment how do you treat that the head of the radius is reduced by fully supinating the forearm now the position of the for what you call forearm was on pronation right now we'll fully supinating the forearm and applying direct pressure over the head of the radius supinate okay and apply direct pressure over the radius of the head a sudden click is heard or either or felt okay as the head of the radius goes back into the normal position okay and as soon as you what you call put the head in a proper position the child becomes very comfortable and stops crying and that's how you treat it okay guys so this is about the pulled elbow thank you so much for watching this video take care